Hey, hi everybody. Um, so I am Jean and I'm the guest designer for Gaunt Artsy on Zibit. And I am here to do a class with you um, to share with you my vintage snippet roll. Um, there's a variety of them that I've seen out there. It all just depends on how you want to use up your small uh, remnants or you know leftover fabric I really didn't have like a whole lot of fabric on hand because I really don't use too much fabric um, laces I didn't really have too much so I've been like just cutting pieces here and there from from some of the gun artsy uh, laces and um, so this was the one I made just to show you all and this was a larger wooden spool if you where am I if you can see that it's a larger one than what I'm gonna do and um, I tied it up with some of the seam binding from Gone Art Seam and so basically what it is is you're just using up uh, just like some of the, your leftover laces uh, you can add uh, burlap um, just basically whatever you want um, and what I did see is a lot of uh, people were using up like um, uh, what do you call them? Not using them. They were cutting. They you can cut these up and use them if they're not on a roll. And these ones can actually get hung up as well. You just tie the seam binding together. Where is my camera? You tie it there, and then you just can hang them up. And so I didn't do too much on this side because this is my outer. I don't know if you can see it. There's the outer side. And I just put a flower here on the edge. It's a real, it's a white flower. I can't see the camera. It's a white one. Hi, Janelle. Um, so yeah, so basically, um, I think if I had bigger spools, I could have done like, you know, put like a lot more. But these are kind of small, so. Um, my advice to you is just to use some bigger spools. I mean, these are good too. I mean, if you, like I said, if you have like leftover pieces of doily and um, doilies and appliques and whatnot, I did see, which I wasn't able to do. I tried um, putting some um, pictures, like on, you know, transparent, like printing the picture on fabric and. It, just wasn't working out. So um, I, I like I said, there's a if you look up snippet rolls, vintage snippet rolls, whatever um, on Pinterest, you'll find a lot of people that have been doing them. So I got inspired by them. So I will start. I'm basically going to be using just a variety of laces and. Um, buttons from I have a few buttons from Gun Artsy so what I did is I have a I made a base for this one and how I did that was I just cut up some of this um it's almost like a cheesecloth it's not muslin but I'll tell you I don't know my fabrics but um I had this really large piece so I used a piece of this and like I only made that one 12 inches so um, let me cut a little piece of this because the the spools I'm going to use are these ones I, I've got to get used to this camera <laughs> are these and they're pretty small but um, it doesn't really matter how big your roll is I mean I really don't want mine too huge but um, if you use the really big ones, obviously you can um, fit a lot more, but it doesn't necessarily have to be on this. Or you can make them out of the tissue paper rolls with the 
card uh, chipboard on the ends so you can do that as well uh, just so you know for future uh, reference um, does anybody have any questions like so far or anything like that so I'm just going to cut my piece of fabric here real quick if I can find the edge I used it's, it's really good idea like if you save your um, pieces of cheesecloth um, um, fabrics laces whatever so this one's going to be kind of small so the the width of the spool isn't that big if I have to I'll fold it over more and like I said usually these get sewn but I didn't want to take up all that time doing a lot of sewing so Um, am I echoing or because I'm already broadcasting I'm not sure can you can you hear me Barbara because Janelle says that the audio is echoing. Okay. Do I have to refresh, Deb, or? Oh, okay. I thought it was me. No, I didn't. I didn't refresh. <laughs> I, I just thought you guys were telling me that my the audio was echoing on my end. Thanks for coming, Barbara. So basically, what you do is you just start with, you know. Um, let me see if I'm in frame. A small, it really doesn't have to be straight because I'm going to cover it. I just wanted a little bit of like cushion, I guess you would say, for for the, for everything I'm going to put. I mean, I'm not going to put too much on this one because like I said, it's not very big. Um, I was hoping to get um, some, like I said, through Etsy, but I don't know they weren't very good like bigger sizes and there were some like that were out of the country and I thought that would take too long of a time to get here so let's see so this is the one that I used you can tea stain you know tea dye your your um, fabrics or whatnot or if you already have them like that I know a lot of people used um, what do you call it? They used um, even like some old blouses or whatever. I heard somebody mentioning on one of their videos that that's what they used for their base. Because this is just kind of just to um, make it like a little bit sturdier to hold your stuff. Because you can put buttons, brads metals. I've seen a really pretty one. I can't remember who made one. I think it was um, the owner from Butterbee Scraps. She had made one. I think it was her. I'm pretty sure. Uh, she had made one with uh, like where she did this. She put a metal around it. It looked really nice. So, And uh, Barbara, since you weren't here at the beginning, this is what except now I tied it. This was the one I had previously made just to show kind of what I was making. And the one I'm going to be making now is a little bit smaller, but like I say, it's just an idea 
that you can do with your leftover um, bits and pieces of stuff, you know, um, like this flower here, this, or that's like one of those little crochet flowers from Prima, um, there's some of the lace from Gone Artsy, I don't remember where I got this uh, little applique, I mean, um, little flower, and just burlap, that's a little applique from Gone Artsy as well, and this here, so, that's basically what it is, um, so, this is how I did mine, I couldn't find any videos on how exactly to do it, so I kind of just did it my way because I really didn't know how anyone else had done theirs. Just got to make sure you measure that it's not, that as long as it, you know, can glue on here. And um, I'm just going to be using a glue gun because I'm not going to pull my sewing machine out. It'll take too long because I'm not the best. Um, I can't sew and uh, I need the glue to dry fast. If not, I would use Fabri-Tac. That's what I was going to use, but when I timed it, it was going to take too long. So. Yeah, those large spools are the good ones to use uh, because you can fit so much on them and then they look really pretty, you know, hanged up. I have those little things for the glue for my fingers, but they're so hard to work with, so... Like, I can sew, yeah, I'm recording. Oh, I'm sorry, Janelle. Rebecca, that's fine. And it's going to be recorded, so. But thanks for stopping by. Okay, so, um, then you just, um, I, I turned it around because I'm going to be putting some uh, regular laces on the outside. So the part that I'm that I sealed will be on the outside, and then I just add some adhesive. Like I said, you can use even like that. Uh, what is it called? No so something no so adhesive or glue or something. I can't remember what it's called tell you I'm not the greatest for fabrics and I have a sewing machine but I don't really use it so so all you're gonna do is you know you're gonna glue your tip just a little bit like that okay um and like the edge um, basically all you, you have to do is, um, you can put whatever you want, um, on the edge here, like a lot of people put flowers, or, I had some leftover of these little remnants from, from Gone Artsy, so all you really gotta do is start, um, adhering the, just wherever you want to put them. I mean, some people I seen, I can't remember her name. I think her name's Jeanette. She did one where she like just did a lot of the same color, like white. That's all she used. And she just did them like in a really big roll where you could just cut them up. So that looked like a really good idea. And um, 
or you can color coordinate them if they're like for a swap and it's someone's favorite color. You can do stuff like that. Um, I decided to stick with purple, I mean, uh, pink and white and like um, this color here. So it's really not hard. I mean, it's not really a hard, hard thing to do at all. Um, and it's really fast and simple. So it just all depends where you want to place your stuff at. Um, Hi, Julie. Um, hi, Costume Diva. I'm glad you can make it. And I do have one of these, um, this fabric, I mean, these, um, this trim from Deb's shop. I really don't remember what it's called. Um, but I had one piece, so I decided to use it. I just wanted to sh show you how it comes. This is a really, um, I love this one. You still have this one, Deb? Yeah, it's a snippet roll, vintage snippet roll. If I had a bigger spool, I think I would have, you know, like a bigger um, canvas to work with, but these aren't very big, so. Okay, yeah, those are really, um, what is it called? Pink. Yeah, I, I like this one a lot. And um, like I said, you can, this is a really good way to not sit around with that basket or whatever, however you have all your your vintage, uh, I mean your uh, fabric or tra uh, trims or, I can't remember where I got this trim. It's really pretty though. I use it there. Made some cards the other day and I had some laces. So I'm gonna add those there. So it's really just like a layout just with fabric. I mean with the uh, trims, laces. That's all it really is. It's nothing too hard. There's no wrong way, you know, there's no you can't make a mistake basically because <laughs> you're just putting them however you want. They're just really to use up your your leftovers. Um, and like I previously said, I don't have a whole lot of leftover stuff. So I'm having to cut some some stuff. Burn myself. That glue gun is like really hot. I really this is a really good glue gun if you all, where am I? Gosh, I gotta look for the camera. This is a really good glue gun, but it is crazy hot. It do doesn't have like a different temperature setting. I know the other day it was like leaking on its own, so I don't know if it's giving out or what, but I thought that would look cute for when you roll it up, you know, it'll stick out on the ends. It's on both sides. Yeah, the, um, I know a lot of people are always saying that they have so much paper, like paper remnants and fabric stuff, and then this is really the good way to get rid of all your little bits and pieces. Because I know I don't. I don't even throw paper away. Like I save every little thing. So 
I have eyelash trim here that you could even use. Um, you can use little, um, one of these little, like little pearls and stuff. I was going to use some of these. Hi, Norma. Thanks for coming. Like I say, it's, you're basically just playing around with your, um, with your trims. Nothing has a specific place or anything like that. So that's, that's just a good thing. You can even just uh, make like a little fabric um, envelope and um, send it off to someone or like for a swap or something see how that looks and I have like um, like this fabric here the, this trim this is one of my favorites from Deb store uh, I can't remember what it's called either oh my gosh I tell you, like, I, my memory is, like, completely gone. Especially, I've noticed when my fibromyalgia acts up, it's worse. Like, I don't have, like, the greatest memory at all. So, so far, I don't know if you get, can see, because it's white. Crochet straight lace, yeah, that's what it's called. And like I was saying, you can put, um, you can stamp your fabric as well. I was reading somewhere, you can stamp on it, you can um, print pictures on your fabric. There's just a, a, a lot of uh, stuff you can. A lot of stuff you can do. Like I said, I saw people even using metal pieces. And that well, that blew my mind because I didn't know you can do that. <laughs> I know that this um, Ustream it always has like a lot of commercials. I always miss out on. I'm part of the class because I spend my time watching commercials. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a four year old will definitely get a headache. Let's see. I ha I like these little doilies from Deb's shop. It's not a leftover remnant, but I don't know if I want to use it. This is my bag of some of the. Let me see. They're all big pieces, but you can cut little pieces from it. So, like example, that one was out of this really big pe big one that I had from Deb's shop. Uh, this is that really big um, oval shaped one. I think you still have that one, Deb, because I think I got it in white this last time. So um, I'm using pieces of that on the outside. Just need to cut it. Oh, that new kit is really nice. The one that Rhonda made. I wasn't there for the class, but I saw the video and I really like it. I think I'm going to buy it. Because it's cute. Where to put that? Put it 
there. I wasn't going to put any on the outside, but since it's really small I'm, and I'm trying to use some of Deb's, um, some of the Gone Artsy uh, products, figured I would just cover it up because I already did the other one that was white. So if it's hard working with glue, like I said, if you sew these, it's way different. Um, I think they would come out better. Let's see. I'm trying to see what fabrics I have from. So I don't have to, I don't really don't want to cut up any good laces that I have. I think I'll put this little applique. This one Deb has in her shop as well. So is everyone having problems with the Ustream tonight? It seems like. That looks cute there. Do I need to zoom in? I didn't even ask if you can really see it. This is the this is the inside. And I think you can't really tell because they're uh, Oh, you're out of stock on this? Yeah, I've had these a, a while. Um, you do have, well, she carry, Deb carries a lot of seam binding, so I'm going to be using some of this. If you want to add the link to that, I'm going to be coloring that. Um, let's see. I got this from a kit I ordered. It was like wrapped around, so it's just like a plain old piece of fabric, like a sheer fabric. So all you're really doing, like, is mentioned before it's not even like a hard thing to do you you just um you just uh kind of it's like a almost like when you're doing i've never done the layout but this is pretty much what i would think it would be like i have yet to do a layout so i'm guessing yeah the seam binding I I got it in white and black, but I got it, I like white because I can color it with my you know, but tint it with my sprays and whatnot. Let me see what else I want to use. I can't find my buttons. Oh, here they are. So I'm gonna sew one of these buttons or a couple. These. Oh, where am I? Let me see. Let me take it out of the bag so you can see which ones they are. These ones. Where is my camera? I like these ones. So this one I am gonna sew on. <laughs> I have my needle. Let's see where I'm on it. Don't laugh at my sewing technique. I'm not a great sewer. <laughs> oh, I'm not even in frame. <laughs> That's okay, you won't see my bed sewing. Hmm. 
I'm sure you all know how to sew a button on. <laughs> Um... The 19th is when you reopen your store, the Gun Artsy store. Oh yeah, because I'm doing the class for you on the 13th. I'm making, I think that's when I'm making a wedding wreath. Okay, so I think the button's pretty much um, sturdy. I don't know if I, I might use another one. But those are cute buttons. I like those. Now, I have a little piece of applique, but I can't find it now. Actually, I'm just going to cut one of these. Um, Deb has this lace in her shop as well. This one's really pretty. Looks like butterflies. I like that one. So, like I said, it doesn't even need to be, like, I don't think there's really a rule that it has to be your, rem you know, your leftover remnants or whatever, but um, that's basically that's what it's really for like that's the concept of the snippet snippet uh, rolls and like I was saying earlier if some of you weren't here you don't have to put them on the spool they can go on uh, on uh, like tissue paper uh, roll with cardstock Okay. Don't know. Those two years. Like I said, um, you are basically just um. I keep saying that basically. You basically just, it's not art at all, so I really don't know, like, how to explain, like, my whole thing here, because it's not, nothing really, uh, it's nothing really that hard to, um, to do. You just, um, gather up all your stuff, you know, oops, you're, you gather up all your trims, like I said, even if you have to use laces that, you have on hand that aren't um, is your mom doing okay Deb? got some glue there And then there's this lace too that Deb carries. It's really pretty that I, I'm going to cut a little piece out of. I ordered uh, these ones, like these kind of laces, because uh, you can cut them apart. And I really like to use laces that are like that. So don't get it too big. Um, does anyone have like any questions or anything like that? Hi Deb's mom. 
I don't even know your mom's name, though. <laughs> Like I said, if there's ladies out there, you ladies know how to use the sewing machine really good and you can sew these up, then that's even better because I think they probably sturdier than glue for sure. I don't know, Deb doesn't like using hot glue, but I didn't want to wait for the the fabric tack to dry so because then it'll stick together. Let me see. The other thing I'm gonna use on here is I'm just going to grab a what I really wanted to use was one of these leaves from this trim. I think you still have this one, Deb. Oh, this um this came with like a pink roll. I don't know what it I don't remember what it's called. I have the package. I'll, I'll let you know what it is. It came with that and with this. Where am I? Um. And it came, you know, with the. It came with one of these where you can set your glue gun on, but it's pink. And with these finger little tip things, so you don't burn your they're really good to have um, I don't even remember where I got this from let me see I know I have a package somewhere I'll let you know what it is um, on my Facebook because I'm pretty sure I still have the package sometimes I save packages and stuff Yeah, I see a lot of uh, ladies that do the long ones, like longer ones, but the bigger spools, and then they, you know, they hang them, you know, because you're going to hang it with the seam binding. So that's basically what I have so far. Um, I had a little piece of that leftover, that pink, it was like a light pink trim with pearls that you, I think you saw it in your shop. And then there's that stretchy one. Can can y'all see that? And then this one, of course, is from Deb's shop. So is that one, the doily. It's really just leftovers that you're really gonna use more than what I'm doing here. So let me see. I don't want to over load this one because like I said there's really it doesn't even matter how thick it is but um that picture that I had on if you didn't see it I really like the way it looks on the little cupboard that they had all their vintage snippet rolls on so it's really gonna roll up like that but I've seen some that are huge so I just took I'm not going to I don't want to over overdo mine too much I'm looking for a specific place. I can't find it. My desk area is kind of small, so um, here's this applique. This applique, I love this one. I might have a couple more, I think. I, I think you still carry these, Deb. Put that right in the middle. Tell you this thing saves your fingers because this glue gun is like a killer. It really burns your fingers like they blister. And that's ow. That's one thing I really hate is burning my fingers with the glue gun. It's like cool. Oh, um, what do you call them? War. I know they're called war something. It's war scars. Oh, the other thing you can use um, that I, I want to put on this one are these little. Um, I don't remember what the other kind look like. Uh, they're like 
solid um, safety little vintage safety pins. These are the Tim Holtz wire pins, and um, you can use this to keep it closed together along with your seam binding. So that's what I'm gonna do with mine. Um, let me see what else I've got. You can add you can add brads on there if you wanted. So I'm gonna do that. So with this would be a pin cushion or yeah, I think you'd be able to stick your stick pins because it's you know they 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 go rolled rolled up so. Um, I think they would look pretty. I want to get one of those shelves and just make like a few of these. And like I have the really small, well, I'm sure everybody has these little small ones. And I think these would look cute as well with just like a little, you know, a little bit of trims on those ones. Yeah, I I really like like Fabri-Tac. Um, that's mainly what I use. It's like three in one. I really have never bought that. Uh, the one you use. Uh, what is it called? The one to no so no so glue or no so something. And this one I'm gonna clip off the those metal pieces with this brad so I can use that that one I'll probably glue with um, hopefully it'll stick with my 3-in-1 oh hi Amy How's your, how's your daughter doing? Oh yeah, the Journey Glaze. I've been wanting to order that one. From your friend, uh, what's her name, Christine or, yeah, I, I want to order some of that sometime. Cause it's almost like glossy accents, isn't it? That's just, that's what we use because this one's like hard or something. It doesn't want to come out. Okay. Yeah. Um. Let's see. So I, I just glued on a, hopefully it'll dry quick. That little, um, I don't know if you can see it. On my end, it looks really blurry, but it's like a little girl. Let me turn it. See, it's like a picture of a little girl. It's really cute. Let's see. Let's see. I think I'll put one more thing on the other side and then I will um, color this so I can add it on there. Okay, well, thank you, Marilyn, for coming. I think she already left. Um, let me see. I'm trying to find. Oh, that won't match. Uh, you, they really, it really doesn't have to match either. But I'm kind of sticking with 
matching colors and stuff like that. Yeah, Amy, I definitely want to use a big spool next time because, um, like when I started using making the other one, this one here, I realized that I needed a really big one. So, because I've seen some really humongo ones. So, I'm going to set that aside and then I'm going to cut some seam binding. I think I will use my spray. I'm going to use this um, simply sheer. I really like this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to look for some more spools because um, I love this water bottle. I got this from Barbara. What did I do with my wipes? Oh. Yeah, that's why I like buying the white one too because you can um, color it. So I'm going to dry this real quick so I hope it doesn't get like too loud. Yeah, I think there's a problem with the strain because everybody's been having issues. I'm almost done anyway, so. But Barbara, I will let you know about that. That food gun. Uh, mat that comes with a set. It really helps your fingers. You won't burn yourself as much. Oh, I like the way this color came out. So there's a seam binding that I just colored. It's really pretty. I like the color. I don't know if you can see it. Me. Can you see it now? Yeah, it looks better. I should have had the light off the whole time. I'm just the one that's really blind, I guess. So maybe you can see that there. Yeah, it does look way better with the light off. So there's that side. Like I said, you don't, it's really up to you. There's no, um, what do you call it, rhyme or reason. There's no specific way to do it. Um, I don't know whoever thought of this was a genius because I tell you, I've gotten, um, there's so many people that I've seen do these. Like Jeanette, uh, I think her name's like Scrappin' Happy. She's like from the UK somewhere, I think. And who else did I see? Uh, 
Trish, can't remember her YouTube. A lot of people have been doing these, and I think it's a really great idea. So you put your seam binding through there like that. Oh, I love brown. <laughs> yeah, like I've been trying to do pinks and whatever because I am crazy for brown. I don't know. It's just I started doing a project and all of a sudden I'm with nothing but brown colors and I'm going to clean my hands before I get everything all crazy dirty. So, um, and then you can also decorate the top of your spools. And like I said, people can put metals. You can just do whatever you want with it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let me show you one more time before I roll it up. So I'll start from there, like that. So it's nothing fancy, nothing crazy, just, um, oops. Yeah, I definitely want to order wherever I can find some really big spools because I think they look really neat that way. And so I'm just going to roll it and I'm going to secure it first with one of those pins. The pins from um, the, those Tim Holtz ones, these ones. Those ones. So I'm going to do that. If I can open it there. I think you don't have to. It might be too thick actually for me to do it, but I think I can pull it off. Let me see. You don't even need to, I guess, do it because it's, I don't think it's going to work. It's kind of thick, so I'm just going to put it on the outside just so it looks like it's tied. <laughs> and then I will secure it with the, with this. That's really what this seam binding is for anyway, so. I'm out of frame. I've been trying to do other colors. I guess I could have done it tighter, but that's really all it is, everyone. I mean, it really didn't take too much time. Like I said, you can decorate the top. I've seen people decorate the top with, um, to what do you call it? Uh, wild orchid craft flowers or uh, doilies. I think a doily would look cute up there. Let me see if I have a small one. Mm, this one's kind of big. I know I have a little one somewhere. Where in the hip? Oh, that one's a little bit. I guess it's not too big. Let me try that. Yeah, I think that looks cute. And then you can just put um, some um, little trinkets on top. I think that would look cute. So there is, like I said, you don't have to put that. I just added that um, just so it would look kind of, give it a little extra um, vintage look there. Um, I might add more stuff to it, but um, that's basically it. Um, I hope that you all 
got a good idea of how to make it. Like I said, it's, I think anybody can make these, and it's just like I said, a really great idea. And thanks so much again for um, joining me. And if you can be here Thursday, I mean Tuesday. Sorry, I couldn't make it at all. So <laughs> I just wanted to do this class for you. Thanks, Amy. Thank you for joining me. I'll let you know. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you in a while. But, um, and Barbara, I'll let you know as well on this glue thing, what it's called. And, um, and thank, just thank you all for being here. Uh, Deb, I hope your mom feels better. So, uh, I'm going to sign off for now, but Thanks again for joining me, and I guess I will see you next time. Bye.